Welcome to another reaction video. Uh, today I'm going to be responding to um, an explanation from Corey Asbury about why he paints his nails. Hi, Corey Asbury here. Um, it is remarkable to me how many times I get asked this question. Almost every one of my posts has the comment, why are your nails painted? I want to know why the toothpick. Number one, I have three daughters. It's one of their favorite things to do, paint daddy's nails. So the question is why is it all right for that to be one of the, his daughter's favorite things to do? He's not answering the question. Uh, he's just moving it back a step. Why do you paint your nails? Well, actually, it's my daughters that paint my nails. Well, why do they paint your nails? What, what's the reason for that? He's not giving us a positive reason for painting his nails. He's just explaining how people who don't think he should be doing so are legalistic. Um, they love it. They think it's amazing. They think it's incredible. And you know, the funny thing is, this is a segue into number two. They have never once thought to themselves, it's weird that daddy paints his nails. You know why? Because they haven't read the Bible yet. <laughs> they're too little. And they're growing up with the, an expectation that this is okay. Because that is a societal construct. That is a social norm that we have accepted that men don't paint their nails. That is cultural. It has zero to do with the Bible. The Bible says not to be effeminate. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians that effeminacy is a sin. Uh, the Bible says in Deuteronomy that a man should not dress, that a man should not dress up in uh, women's clothing. Um, and so if that's that transvestitism, that effeminacy is a sin. Now, he's right that different cultures have different ways of telegraphing effeminacy and masculinity, just as different languages have different words for different objects. Okay. Uh, the way I illustrate this is in the British military, you salute with your palm out. In the American uh, military, you salute with the palm down. So that's different. But honor is being shown in both cases. That's a different vocabulary to communicate a, a, a Christian virtue. So when the Bible tells us to show honor to all men, we, the salute may be different. The, the nature of the salute may, may vary, but there's a, there's a creational core at the bottom and certain things are effeminate and different societies uh, telegraph it different ways. And what he's doing is telegraphing effeminacy. Jesus, Christianity, uh, moral code, at all, it just in general, it doesn't make any sense to question the idea unless you've grown up in a culture that says it's not okay to do something, um, which is the case for most Americans or, or even Westerners. It's weird um, because society says don't play with Barbies, uh, don't paint your nails, little boys are supposed to play with army men. It's silly. It's not biblical. It's not Christian. So you guys... You're always like, I, I'm unfollowing, man. I, this guy, I knew he was, <laughs> you know, part of the cult or like he wasn't Christian or he's a wolf in sheep's clothing, clothing. And I'm like, I'm not even upset about it, but it's, it's incredible, incredible to me the number of people who base their moral code or compass on culture and not the Bible. Yeah, but this is like saying... Um Let's, let's say the elders of the church went down to remonstrate with a young teenage uh, uh, member of their church who was standing out at the edge of the parking lot, flipping the bird at passing motorists, and they went and talked to, to him about it. And he said, well, this, the meaning of, of the 20% uh, of a wave, the meaning of flipping the bird to these people varies from culture to culture. You know, in China, it doesn't mean this at all. But the answer is, you're not in China. <laughs> Everybody that you're, um, everybody you're flipping off is taking a certain message away because you can't just assign your own private meaning to that gesture. You don't get to do that. And uh, we don't get to just assign our own private meaning. If he had, if he put his 
hair and a red tied it up with a red uh, red ribbon and had a ponytail he doesn't get to say this is what it means to me he lives in community and he has to reckon with what it means to everybody and not um, what Jesus actually said Jesus could care less what color your freaking nails are because the truth is as he says about King David in the Old Testament I'm not concerned with the outward appearance man looks at the outward appearance God looks at the heart and uh, my heart's definitely painted bye yeah God does look at the heart but you can't say that that means everything we do externally is meaningless he said frickin instead of something else right why do you do that is he being a coward is he bending to social um demands is he trying to fit in is he a pharisee so thanks for watching our content we really appreciate it i want to take a second to talk about my book angels in the architecture and how you can listen to the audio version for just 99 cents which if you round up is a whole dollar the modern view of the world is empty and lifeless Nothing more than a bunch of matter in motion, with life by the thousandth millionth chance emerging from chaos. The modern world, as a result, can only conceive of progress as more efficiency, more technology, more domination, greatly improved matter in motion. By way of contrast, the Christian faith presents a glorious vision for culture and a vision of the world in which truth, beauty, and goodness are built into the very molecules of the universe. Angels in the Architecture, which I wrote together with Doug Jones, the book covers such diverse topics as creeds, poetry, history, the church, feasting, and storytelling. And here comes my best imitation of a salesman. The audiobook is now available at mycanonplus.com. If you haven't joined Canon Plus yet, what's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, excuse me. You can get your first month for just 99 cents by using promo code DOUG99, D-O-U-G-99, all caps. My name is in there, not as an ego thing. We're just trying to help you remember it.